Insufficient sleep is emerging as a major health problem with up to half of U.S. adults getting less than the recommended seven hours of sleep per night. A new study published by the American Heart Association found that individuals with high blood pressure were even more vulnerable to poor sleep and were at increased risk of having negative impacts to the brain. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call to tell us more about this. Good morning. Good morning. I think there are so few of us who get seven hours of sleep. I know, I know, and it's a big problem. And and, you know, you know, we talk about sleep so much, and now we just have another study that is coming out that's emphasizing the importance of it. They looked at about 700 participants. People were middle age, age 40 or older, followed them over several years, and they found that people that were sleeping six or less hours a night had a de significant decline in older age of executive decision-making skills. Those are like analytical skills, higher thinking ability. They also did MRIs on these patients, and they found that their brains were aging faster. They found changes in the brains that put you at risk for dementia. So this is serious stuff. So what does sleep have, why does it have such a big impact on the brain? Maybe you could tell us a little bit about this and also this issue with those with high blood pressure. Well, it's two separate hits to the brain. So first, when you have high blood pressure, that gives a lot of wear and tear to all of the blood vessels in your body and the blood vessels to the brain are not spared. And so that those issues with blood flow create problems in the brain long term if your blood pressure is not controlled. And then sleep. Well, what does sleep do for the brain? Well, sleep is incredibly healing. And when we are in sleep, particularly deep sleep, our brain is clearing itself of all of those toxins. So when you are, you know, not sleeping enough, you're not getting those healing benefits. Where do they intersect? Well, when you sleep, for a prolonged period, your blood pressure naturally dips. So when you're not sleeping, you're getting even more of that effect of high blood pressure because you're not getting that natural dip. There are so many sleep aids out there. What do you recommend, if any? I know, there's a lot out there. So first, if you're really having a chronic issue with sleep, you need to figure out why. But for short-term issues, the natural root is melatonin. Uh, melatonin helps reset that you know bi biological clock in the brain. And so it's perfect for people that are experiencing issues with jet lag, people that work shift work. So that sometimes they're awake at night, sometimes they're awake during the day. Um, people that are just not able to fall asleep till super late. Melatonin's a good short-term option. It's not without side effects. Makes you drowsy. So you want to take it about an hour before you go to sleep. Um, and ask your healthcare provider because it can interact with other medications. Now for pharmacologic therapy, Zolpidem, or also known as as Ambien is commonly used, works very quickly, good for short-term use, onset in 30 minutes. However, this is also not without side effects because um, you cannot mix it with alcohol. Women have to be very careful because it stays in the system longer for women. So eight hours is not enough. So if you're taking Ambien, let's say at midnight, you can't expect to drive a car at 8 a.m. the next day. And then finally, some strange side effects have been reported with ambient sleepwalking, sleep eating, unusual behaviors. I, I mean, I've heard of that actually <laughs> a number of times. Yeah. I know. So at the end of the day, these are short term fixes. If you're not sleeping, it's serious and it's something to talk to your health care provider about. Dr. Nadia Kumar, we thank you very much for talking to us as we start the new year. Yes. Off hopefully on the